Hello and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal daily news show and community update. I'm your host, Frederic Rigolo. Today, we have, we, we have with us Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian.com. Hi, Franklin. How are you doing? Just fine. Thank you very much. So today we have three stories to cover. And first one, the nicer one, is you tour the new school. That's right. We toured the, uh, the uh, new high school wing of the uh, uh, Belmont Middle and High School that's being uh, built as uh, uh, on the site of the high school that is right, you know, the, the, the current high school. Uh, if you, anybody goes by on, on Concord Avenue, will will see it. And I will have seen that over the past two years, it went from um, just basically, you know, a lot of mounds of dirt. And now it's, it's really up there. And, and people should realize that in just about 13 weeks, that by the end of summer, that school is going to be transferred from the building committee to the school committee because it will be ready to go. Uh, and and does, that, does, that, does that does that looks like like a finished building yet or uh, already? Not, not, not yet. It's, it's very rough around the edges. I mean, you can see where the from the outside you can see the uh, where the pavement is going to go, but it's still not done. Uh, the curbing has been put in, but uh, if you look at the outside, there's. There's some glass that still needs to be, a lot of glass that needs to be done. All the classrooms still are, are in rough shape. The flooring hasn't been put in, but I, but we've been told that, you know, within, you know, in 13 weeks, this is going to look really great. This is going to be ready to go. And if you've ever gone through a building a committee or a, a building in, in Belmont, such as the uh, middle school or, um, or the Wellington, especially, it's they'll be painting until the last day <laughs> be one of those things um there will be a tour for the public but uh this was a press tour that we went on uh on uh, um, uh, this week and um there will be a tour for the uh building committee next week um uh, bill lavallo who is the chair took us on the tour and he's in the photographs that you're probably watching right now um, it's just a wonderful site. There's some great features there. There's the lunchroom area that's full of light. Just, just you know, three story, three stories of just uh, the light that looks out the windows that look out on Clay Pit Pond. You've got a course room on the second floor that's also a, a, f uh, a roof to floor um, glass, you know, wall that looks out over the uh, pond. Uh, uh, another big, big feature is the theater, which is just coming out. It's just gorgeous it's so big and, and roomy and the, the seating the seatings are real theater seatings there's the black box theater which which can be shaped in any way you want to you know band rooms and and just the uh the, the classrooms themselves there are some classrooms that have uh windows on on two sides you know the real corner office type of uh and it's just beautiful it's just a beautiful building there's also great um the mechanics uh, you know, this is a geothermal building, so there's no uh, there's no uh, fossil fuels that, that are in that will be going into the building. And you can see that where that where that engineering is 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 put up. And in fact, there's one room where you where it's just going to be it's just going to be as uh, there's going to be just you know the big uh, beams and the big um, uh, piping that that's going to be remaining, so people can see how the building was built. You know, it's just a real creative way of of looking at it, it's uh, it's rather impressive, and 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 just remember that this is only halfway through because we will also have to wait for the uh, middle school section, which will then uh, come um, will be starting uh, this summer with the demolition of the uh, high school with the with the high school, and as we know, on January second, there's going to be a free uh, get. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a free giveaway. A January second. No, no, July second. July second. Yeah, July second. There's going to be a, there's going to be a, a free giveaway where all the ex excess furniture, surplus furniture, anything that you want to take out, take out. You know, you have to take it out yourself. But that should be pretty good. It should be a. a um, so everything is moving along. So it's a, it's, a, it's a very impressive, and uh, I think people will um, uh, really be impressed and proud that Belmont has built this. I know that the school that the building committee thinks so. So, and I think it's a perfect transition for the second topic, which mm -hmm. is the new, a new committee will be, is, no, I think it, it needs to be approved by a town meeting, right? But say, I, know, it, 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 I think it's, 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 it's either set up or being set up. I'm, oh, okay. I'm, so comprehensive is a new committee is a comprehensive capital committee. Can you tell more yeah. about it? 
it's a, a comprehensive capital budget committee, and it's basically looking at long term at our capital needs, the town's capital needs. This is something that um, Anne Marie Mahoney, who has been the longtime uh, chair of the capital budget committee, and the town treasurer Floyd Carmen have been begging basically the the town to 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 commit themselves to, and that is basically looking at our capital needs long term, not not because what the capital uh, budget committee does, it looks every year, it takes requests from from uh, the town and from town departments and, uh, you know, doles out money to make sure that, you know, we we make sure that the infrastructure of the town is being looked after. A, a typical example of that is like the boilers at all the schools. They seem to be need, they need to be built, re, re, redone uh, every couple of years. Um, but what they want to say is, look, we know what's what's being what's coming basically due. We know how old these buildings are, what needs to be done. A uh, perfect example is the uh, Chenery roof. Uh, the Chenery roof that's now basically the, a quarter century old since it was built. That roof is starting to leak. It needs to be completely redone. Uh, we know we knew that this was coming five, ten years ago, but we really haven't talked about it until now. When when we really when it's time to repair that roof. They want to make those uh, surprises, as they say, uh, less of a surprise. They want to let the town meeting and, and the town to know that, let's say, a perfect, uh, per, another perfect example is the DPW, um, uh, the DPW building, which was just recently renovated and expanded on. Uh, Anne Marie Mahoney said, you know, welcome to this uh, ribbon cutting. We, we, and uh, this is a really great event, but in eight years, we're, we're going to have to tear down this building because it's going to be useless, you know. So let's start thinking about eight years from now how we're going to pay for this. That's that is what they they want this committee to do, and it should be one of those committees that um, really tells you know tells the truth to people. You know, uh, there's going to be a, there's going to be these older elementary schools that need to be repaired or renovated or rebuilt. Uh, there's going to be infrastructure. Who knows? There could be uh, stormwater management problems. You know that we have to we have to do. So that is why this committee is is, is something that's for reaching and 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 something that has really been needed for a long time in Belmont. But um, maybe it's a silly question. But what is the difference between that new committee and the long term capital planning committee? Um, well. Uh, uh, you know, they they do have they they are sep they do have separate things to do. But um, um, let's see what the uh, comprehensive capital budget committee does. Let's see what what it's doing. I think I think we'll 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 see that both of them have their own they'll they'll have their own things that they're going to be looking at. So so I think another building coming up <laughs> <laughs> in few years I think is a Mackling development, and they were <laughs> some bump into the road. That's right. A really bump in the road. Well, first off, uh, it was known as uh, it's at the McLean uh, uh, building at the property. It's Zone Three. It's called Zone Three, but now it has a name. It's called the Residence at Belmont. Uh, ah. B L M O N T. Two words. Uh, the old French said that's how how people from older in French days would say that uh, <laughs> for Belmont. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so next week we'll have our second meeting on detailed plans on the new housing development. Um, you know, it's about 140 units, 100 rental units, 40 townhouses. There's going to be affordable units both in both the uh, rental and the townhouses. Uh, so this was the detail of the first meeting. It's more of a, you know, like, okay, this is what, what it's going to look like. Uh, this is a square footage. Well, it turned out that um, the uh, developer Northland uh, Residential, which had built all the other uh, residential properties in McLean's came in on a, um, a, a basically uh, submitted these papers for waivers uh, to the back for the town's bylaw, and um, and it just didn't it didn't it, it didn't pass the smell test. Let's say for our for the uh, <laughs> for uh, um, uh, Steve Pinkerton, who is the chairman of the uh, planning board. Um, he he he's a very uh, very mild mannered person, uh, very gentlemanly like, but he, when he gets and he gets upset, you know, it's it's something to listen to. And he got very upset with this because it seemed like the developer is using a different set of criteria to build these townhouses. Now, the bylaws in the town limits the size of, of townhouses, both 
the, the all the space it can take and also the living space. It's like 36, that 3,600 square feet for gross uh, square footage and about 2,400 for living space. Well, apparently, you know, the uh, designs looked a little, it, it, it looked more um, uh, complete and it looked like it was ready to be developed for more uh, uh, living space than it should. It's like, <laughs> it looked like, oh, all you need to do is put a bathroom in there and you got a, an apartment in the, in the basement. Uh -huh. So uh, so I think he saw that as just a very, um, uh, he, he, he didn't say basically that, you know, they were trying to sneak it through, but. Yeah, I think that's what he was, he was trying to infer that, you know, don't try to sneak these through. So we're going to see at the next meeting if um, the developer who was seen, who was who seemed to be a little annoyed that he got caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but because he did a good job to to work with the housing trust and the affordable houses. Yes, that's yeah. the whole thing. That's the whole thing. It was, you know, he's, he's done a great job. His name is uh, John Dowley of, of uh, Northland. Uh, he's the CEO of Northland uh, Residential. Uh, you know, he's, he's dealt with the town for a long time. It just seemed like something out of the blue that just like, oh, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to like, you know, use your own criteria, your your own, your own, you know, way of looking at how this is being built? Uh, so it should be a, a, an interesting uh, meeting on Tuesday. Okay, so next 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 week. Uh, That's right, next week. Next week. Okay, great. Thank you, Franken. So you can follow Franken on Facebook. Twitter, YouTube, <laughs> and, uh, and belmontanian.com. Um, thank you, Franklin, for coming with us. Uh, have a good weekend, all, and see you next time. Thank you.